Hey everybody, welcome to my room in Jerusalem. I just bought this last night and uh, I am hooked on blowing it. Praise God. It only cost me 40 shekels, which is about 10 US dollars. And I've already had somebody on Facebook say, can you please bring me one to the Philippines? I I would have to go get money out of the bank and then go buy that before the shops close. It's, it's a little complicated. And then somebody else will want one too. So sometimes I don't like posting that I get these things so cheap because then everybody wants one and says, hey, baby, back. So <coughs> it's probably best that I don't start um, filling up my bag with stuff because I already got so much stuff as it is. But um, welcome to my hostel. I'm in a four uh, bedroom. Um, I stay over here. I got a sink here, bathroom here, showers over there. It's about $25. Uh, my roommate over here is from Spain. The one last night was from uh, Tibet, China. Hang on. takes practice whoa you know those big long ones those are really expensive but hey, this is 10 bucks and it fits in my purse and I just want to annoy people all over the world with so far it's such my personality right I'm just such an annoying person but um, for the glory of God though right so the other day when I was at the Dead Sea I decided to bring a big clump of the Dead Sea back with me because this stuff costs a lot of money. Oops. And, um, <coughs> and I got it for, uh, I got it for free. So I don't know, this would be worth a lot of money um, if they broke it down and then they packaged it. This stuff has like the best minerals, so it's very healthy for your face and your skin. I'm already feeling super, um, super soft, and I uh, sent my mother uh, a photo of me with the clay all over my face, uh, the Dead Sea mud. But I'm gonna stick it. I'm gonna stick it in this bag. My um, my uh, roommate from China. She left me this bag, so I'm just going to stick it in there and take it with me. That way I'll have some for my face. And it's a great conversation piece with people, too. You know, when I meet them, <coughs> I like to show my book to people and, um, you know, tell people about how God is. I sit me around the world preaching preaching the word and I show them the book and it opens a conversation for the gospel. This morning I sat with a man that was Jewish at breakfast and he um he he had been to my hometown in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and he said he hung out with Kay Arthur and she does Bible studies, but he wasn't a Christian yet. But I think that's neat because I imagine she's trying to uh, share the word with him. But yeah, I go to I go to Japan on Sunday. <coughs> um, I'm going to watch the inauguration tonight, hopefully at the hostel, and then I might preach one more time. Uh, every time I preach, I go into major coughing spells. I've been coughing since January 9th, which would be 11 days. And I've been through almost three bottles of cough medicine, and I'm sick of taking it. I'm on amoxicillin right now. Um, I got a free doctor named uh, Dr. John when I first got here, shared my story with him. And he, um, he didn't charge me. I am hooked on this thing. I love it. Woo! 
So I might go blow it one more time. I'm thinking about going out, maybe ask people what do they think about Donald Trump. It's a conversation piece, you know, to get going. Because everybody's got an opinion on Donald Trump. And, um, well, and I got a Trump now. I got a Trump it, right? So maybe I'll go back out one more time. <coughs> I'm worried about my health because I've got to go from um, Israel to Russia to Japan. And it's going to be a long trip. And so I'm going to let the Lord decide whether I need to preach one more time or not. Because like I say, every time I preach, my walk back home, I go into major coughing spells because of my lungs have not completely healed. And um, I don't have pneumonia. I don't have bronchitis. I had a virus that was kind of like the flu. And <clears throat> I'm, I still I wake up in the middle of the night and I cough really, really hard. But I will decide if I preach um, one more time. I'll pray about it and see what, what God would have me do. But... <clears throat> Yeah, it's been good being here. This is my fifth trip to Israel. I'm okay. You know, a few of you wrote me and asked if I was okay about, you know, the guy kicking me. I'm okay. I had a, a coat on. And when he kicked me, I think he was just trying to kick my tripod because I have a tripod that holds my camera. Now, this camera right here is a separate camera, and I haven't bought a tripod for it yet. When I get to Japan... Japan's got everything. I'm going to look um, at what they have and their equipment. And uh, I'm, I'm going to be there a couple of weeks and then go to South Korea. <coughs> so I'll see what they got over there, you know. Um, and then possibly get uh, a tripod for this or even another camera, whatever. As um, long as it's not expensive. But my favorite part about going to Japan is I'm going to go to the Honda company where Hondas are made. And I'm going to show them my book and um, tell them about me living in my Honda. For Hondas. Hallelujah. And here's one for Obama leaving today. Here we go.